Halloween is this Friday, and there's nothing like watching a horror movie to get into the spirit. Joining us with his top five horror flicks is Dalton Ross. He is editor at large for Entertainment Weekly. Hi, Dalton. Good Hi, morning. Mike. Good to be here. Let's do the top five. Number five on your list Night of the Living Dead. Yeah, or as I like to call it, Attack of the Persistent Yet Maddeningly Slow Moving Zombies. But, you know. Oh, that would have been a better title. <laughs> zombies are not to be taken lightly, Maggie, you know, because they won't only kill you, they'll either turn you into one of them or they'll eat your brains. And wow. personally, I'm not a fan of either of those options. No, so, not uh, good. Yeah. Number four, I, I mentioned this one. I had yeah. nightmares with Michael Myers and that music. I can't think of scarier music than the yeah. Halloween music. And the Halloween music was actually composed by the director, John Carpenter. A lot of people don't know that. And he sort of set the template for serial killer movies. And what's so scary about it is that there are no supernatural forces at play here. It's just a deranged lunatic on the loose. and that's, Which could which, happen. Which could happen. So you watch this and you start jumping out of your seat every time you hear something outside your house. He was kind of like the first one. Then came Freddy Krueger and, and Jason. And Jason, exactly. Oh. All those guys. I don't like those. Number three, The Shining, good one. Yeah, you know, it's all these classic horror images. We know about the the snowy hedge maze chase. You know, shrubbery has never been scarier than in that chase. And, um, <laughs> and you've got the creepy twins, and you've got that blood pouring out of the elevator, and you throw Jack Nicholson with a big knife on top of it, and you got, uh, you got all the ingredients uh -huh. right there. He was the greatest in this movie. Yeah, and it's all about the fear of isolation and the madness that can ensue as opposed, uh, because of that. Number two, the movie that made people scared to shower psycho yeah I think I I stank for a good month after seeing this movie I would not go anywhere near a shower uh, you can you blame do. me <laughs> yeah exactly but what was so remarkable about this movie is that the main character dies halfway through the movie right. you know that's really jarring and then you throw Norman Bates in there dressed up as his mother and it is just one freak uh, freak show starring by the way Janet Lee mother of Jamie Lee Curtis who was that's in Halloween. exactly right we got a little connection there I like it a little family <laughs> dynasty of horror movies number one horror movie on your list of Oh, I agree. I forgot about this one, The Exorcist. Yeah, what's Halloween without some good old-fashioned demonic possession? And, yeah. you know, you take an adorable little girl, and she becomes a vessel of Satan, and she's vomiting pea soup all over the room. And what beats that? Absolutely nothing. Let's be honest. Remember when that used to be a really popular costume, Reagan? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, you got to get some sort of like a tube shot in there to shoot all the green stuff out. But it's a, it's a classic. That's good. What do you think about Harry's Choice, The Nightmare Before Christmas? Well, it's a, it's a great film as well, you know, Tim Burton animated film, it's it's fantastic. I don't know if it's as frightening as some of the other ones, but it's a delightful little treat. I love it too. I gotta rent it. Can I admit I've never seen it? Uh, not on national television. Oh, but you oh. just did! Oh, dang. Oh, no. Oh, wow. We'll take that out in post. Oh, it's live. Oh, we can do that. <laughs> well, updated for the West Coast. Okay. Dalton Ross, thank you so Thanks, much. Maggie. Happy Halloween. Okay.